impressive stuff from Moses and Helmet. He stops Marius Vac in two rounds. Now, I thought this was going to be a distance fight. I did. I thought it'd be a good learning fight for Atelma because Marius Vac is, he has been stopped a few times in his career, but he's only been down once as a pro until tonight. Now, this is the second time he's been down. He normally goes rounds prior to him touching down against Arsene Beck Makhmadov. He was stopped by Pavek and he was stopped by Miller. He was stopped by Bacoli. I don't know, was he stopped by, I can't quite remember if he was stopped by anyone else, but I know those ones. I know against Pavek and it was on cuts, like injuries. He was overwhelmed by the other two guys, but he'd always shown a very good chin. He'd only ever been down against Arsene Makhmadov, and that was the last year or two. So, and again, bear in mind, he's 44 years old. So that punch resistance is, it's going to go a little bit as you age. And considering the fact that he's been in, it's not even just the fact that he's been in fights with big punchers like Klitschko, Povetkin. He's been in camps with the likes of Anthony Joshua. He's been in there with David Hay. I remember he was one of the sparring partners for David Hay in the Tyson Fury fight which never happened he was one of the sparring partners there and I'm sure he would have went rounds because Wilder was in there as well he probably would have went rounds with him so he's been hit by some big punchers and remember David Hay I think he said you need a baseball bat to try and hurt this guy so he's always had a good chin and I thought against a Telma as good as a Telma looks and he does look tremendously like honestly a Telma looks the business he really does I thought maybe Atelma would get frustrated in there. Marius Vac has learned things throughout his career about how to get through a fight. And even if you are, you know, the, the chasm between skill is, is vast, you can still kind of get your, like, maybe pick your way through a fight. You know, it's sort of way like you can just get through to the end and, and take a few shots. Atelma from the outset of this fight, he looked just on point. The speed, the hand speed Atelma has. Now, Marius Vac was never the quickest heavyweight even in his prime. All right, so he was, he was he was never quick. Maybe that made Atelma look faster in this fight considering the fact he is 44 years old and a lot of timber around the midriff. But the hand speed, the combination, the movement from Atelma in there looked really good. The first round, Atelma was aggressive. He was having a look, he was aggressive. He was letting big shots go. He was finding the left hand. He was looking the land to the body. And I kind of thought, okay, this well, I like what I'm seeing. He's in there with a guy, he's older, he's slower, he takes a good shot, he's picking a shot well. It's going to be interesting to see how he kind of goes through the gears in this fight. Because again, even after the first round, I was expecting a long affair. It was a 10-rounder I was expecting to get into the mid to late rounds of this 10-rounder. And then early in round number two, he appeared to stun Marius Vac. I don't know if many people picked up on it, but he caught Marius Vac on the head with a left hand. This is before the knockdown. And Marius Vac, he, maybe he could have been off balance, but his legs looked a little bit like they, they felt it, like they buckled a little bit under the weight of the punch. He went back into the corner. Atelma landed a few shots. That was fine. And then he puts him down with a left hand. And Atelma, it was brilliant. Like the speed, he was like, this kid's hand speed is flipping phenomenal. He's only 19 years old. But he put Marius Vac down and Vac appeared to be hurt, legitimately. You know, I mean, he caught him. I think it was just kind of, a, it looked to me like it was just above the ear. So a real equilibrium kind of shot. Marius Vac went down and it kind of went down into the ropes. And when I seen that, I was kind of just, I was sitting down watching. I was kind of like, oh, just didn't expect to see it. You know, I, I've just watched Marius Vac through the years. I've seen him in there with loads of big punchers and I've not seen guys put a dent in him. And to see that, I was kind of like, oh, wow, what, what do we have here? He proceeds then. And, and, you know, I was kind of looking at the referee. I was like, are you going to stop that? Now, I, w I would have complained if he did. I thought Marius Vac was fine to carry on. He let him carry on. And yeah, Atelma backed up into the corner, opened up a combination. He wasn't punching back. No issue with the stoppage then. But it's a big statement. It is. I know Marius Vac is 44 years old. Even in his prime, when he was fighting the likes of Vladimir Klitschko, Alexander Povetkin, he was never the best. But he is a guy who takes some stopping. And that's only the second time now he's ever been down as a professional against the 19 year old who is he's looking to get a world title in the next year i like what i see you know i people would want to compare a town with the johnny fisher and i've said this before i'll say it again there is no comparison you look at the way a Telma carries himself in the ring you look at just how he is how relaxed he is the combinations everything that kid has talent that kid has more talent 
in one finger than Johnny Fisher has in his whole body. Seriously. And I'm not being bad to Johnny Fisher, but that's just the way it is. You know, there's no way in hell Johnny Fisher, even in the next five years, will look as polished as his helmet does now. He's only 19 years old. I mean, I'm... <laughs> What's this kid going to look like in four or five years? He'll only be 24 years old. Like, probably still won't even be in his athletic peak then. It's crazy. It's, it's just... Honestly, this kid is... I can't emphasize it enough. He has talent to burn. And I really hope he makes the most of that talent. I hope he doesn't get... Because he's only 19. Now, he does appear to have a wise head on young shoulders. But you just don't know. You just don't know. I hope he doesn't do anything in the next few years. Go a bit off the rails. I don't think he will. I've met this kid in person a few times. And he, he really does seem a, a wise head on young shoulders. Great performance. Really was. I didn't expect that. Fair play to him. I really give him credit for that. So yeah, that's a Telma versus Marius Vac. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll chat to you in a wee bit. We're going to do a watch along for the last two fights on this card. I hope to see you then. Peace.